Unfortunately, I'm a bit late with this uh, news and, and information because um, I was getting ready to go down to fully charged show on Thursday night. And we stayed overnight and was down there all day. And then I've been decorating the bathroom, which is still not finished. So I'm way behind where I normally am with my video production. But uh, I, that's why it's later than it would be. Okay, on Thursday, um, a new entertainment update dropped for the USA, for the EV6. Um, it's available from update.kia.com, just like the Euro updates, but you get steered to the American version of the software download. Um, it's release date or number ended with 220419. Um, so... You can download this yourself from update.kia.com. It does say you need a 32 gigabyte memory stick, but you'll need a 64 um, because that's the way the updates have gone on the EV6 recently. Um, it used to fit on a smaller stick, but now doesn't. Um, obviously, I can't run this on my car because it's a different uh, regionalized model, um, or you can get it at the download. Um, but I will put links to the update site and also um, to Kia EV Forum's um, thread on this, which has got quite a few images um, of, what, of what's changed and what it now looks like. Uh, the biggest thing, and this is important for the rest of the world, including Europe, is that um, apparently Android Auto is now full screen. And if you can also have the audio in a split screen mode. Notice that um, I've got Android Auto plugged in and my, my audio has got a corrupted um, font. So the spaces appear as squares. Uh, that's because it's doing a screen scrape from within the Android Auto system and repasting it into this. So that will look better. And in the actual Android Auto system, when you've got the maps, Uh, they've changed the uh, layout so the buttons no longer along the bottom and they're down the left instead. Um, and if this can be maximised, it might be dependent on your phone as well. Um, that is a big step forward. Um, but you'll have to disable the old split screen mode which covered up that Android Auto box. Uh, you can have that with the native Android Auto uh, media player on it as well. If you look in the uh, forum posts, in my, uh, in, which I've linked to in the description, you'll see that. Um, so what's changed? What's been added? Well, a lot of it's kind of, kind of catch up to what we've had in Europe for a while. And uh, you can now update in the background. Um, uh, one thing we don't get when you set a route or a route, uh, you don't get ad additional routes, drop down box. We don't get that. Apparently the uh, the AM tubes radio um, screen has now gone, so you can't see, see, the, see the valve amp kind of thing in there. Um, there's an improved radio station and shortcut manager, but I, I think that might be for streamed radio, so that might be a little app in itself that's not AM or FM. And you can now filter on points of interest. On, if you're looking for a McDonald's, you can just pick them all, filter them out. Uh, they've now got the scheduled day-night mode from what I'm reading, but we've, we've already got that. Um, on the energy screen, energy info screen, um, they've now now changed it to drive uh, train under the EV menu. Energy information, energy consumption. That now says drive drive train instead of driving. Um, so I'm hopeful that the uh, Android full screen makes it to the European version of this in the next big update, which must be imminent because they've enabled over-the-air updates and they've been talking and up this big May update for quite a while. Uh, the other thing I've read on forums, um, particularly about the US models, is they're going to enable uh, wireless Android Auto and CarPlay with a software update. I'm hopeful that will happen to us too, but we'll have to see. Um, 
And again, that's just a rumour I've read. Um, there's, there's no way that's confirmed anywhere.